You may have heard of the common eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia, but do you know that there are also other lesser known eating disorders? While some of them aren't officially considered a disorder yet, many of these can have a very large impact on your life and shouldn't be taken lightly. So here are 11 types of lesser known eating disorders. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only. Please do not use this video to self-diagnose or diagnose others. If you suspect you may have some kind of eating disorder, we highly recommend you seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number one, avoidant or restrictive food intake disorder. This disorder describes people who are extremely selective about their food. It emerges during infancy and childhood and can persist into adulthood. People with this disorder may struggle with a lack of appetite or have difficulty eating foods with certain textures or colors. The selectiveness may be so severe that they end up eating only five foods or less. The dangers of this are under-consuming calories and nutrients and developing anemia, kidney and liver failure, cardiac problems, and other health risks. Two, PICA. This eating disorder is when you eat non-nutritive things like dirt, paint, glue, and other similar things. It typically starts during childhood and lasts about a couple of months, although it can continue into adulthood. It's also mostly observed in those with an intellectual disability or with an autism spectrum disorder. They may end up with nutritional deficiencies, constipation, intestinal blockages, and anemia, among other complications. The biggest danger comes when they consume toxic substances like lead in paint or parasites in the soil. Number three, orthorexia nervosa. This eating disorder isn't an official diagnosis, but it is starting to become noticed. This disorder revolves around the obsession of healthy eating. Their fixation is with the quality and purity of their food to the point of cutting out food groups like sugar, carbohydrates, and meat because they aren't pure enough. This may be detrimental as it can lead to malnutrition, hormonal imbalance, and other medical problems. Number four, wanorexia, wannabe Anna or anorexic wannabe. Wanorexia is described by experts as a cultural phenomenon triggered by social media and unrealistic beauty standards. It's mostly seen in female teenagers who wish to be anorexic, but are not. Wanorexics may feel gratified with their weight loss, whereas anorexics don't. This disorder isn't as dangerous as anorexia, but it may lead you to develop such an eating disorder. Number five, bigorexia muscle dysmorphia or reverse anorexia. Do you believe that the bigger the muscle, the better? People with bigorexia are focused on their body fat. It's mostly seen in men who have obsessive compulsive behaviors, and they may obsess over the size of their muscles, believing theirs are too small. This disorder falls into the category of eating disorders because their obsession to gain muscle affects their food choices and eating patterns, such as having an unbalanced protein diet. Number six, diabulimia. In the medical world, diabulimia is called EDTMT1, and it refers to eating disorders in those with type 1 diabetes. Diabetic medications may cause weight gain in some people, affecting their self-esteem and confidence. In extreme cases, diabetics may decrease, delay, or even stop taking their insulin. This may occur alongside induced vomiting, excessive eating, and strict dieting rules. And this is dangerous because it may cause blindness, nerve pain, kidney damage, hearing impairment, cardiovascular disease, and even death. If you wanna learn more about this disorder, check out our video, Diabulimia. The link is in the description below. Seven, pregorexia. While this disorder hasn't been officialized yet, it is an illness that can be dangerous to mother and her baby's health. Pregorexia is a disorder where women worry about their weight gain during their pregnancy they become preoccupied with calorie counting and exercising. They may go on binge eating sprees, then induce vomiting. If not controlled, it can lead to developmental problems for the baby or even result in a miscarriage. Number eight, anorexia athletica, sports anorexia or hypergymnasia. This is a subtype of anorexia and bulimia, mostly observed in athletes, in which people are obsessed with their body image. They rely on exercising to get rid of extra calories to lose weight. In some cases, they may become so preoccupied with exercise that they miss out on other activities, such as spending time with friends and family. Number nine, 
Prader-Willi syndrome. This is a genetic disorder that comes with cognitive and behavioral problems. It describes people who never feel full and constantly experience a sense of hunger. This can cause problems with weight, particularly a struggle with obesity. They may hoard food and even eat food that is frozen or from the garbage. The urge to eat may be so strong that they continue to eat until their bodies are unable to take it, which induces vomiting. 10. Gourmand syndrome. This disorder is when you suddenly find yourself craving for fine dining. It's considered extremely rare and caused by a head injury, tumor, or stroke in the right hemisphere of the brain. People with this disorder become preoccupied with high quality food, whether it's the preparation or presentation of it. They do not overeat or restrict, but simply insist on eating gourmet food. And number 11, trunchorexia. While trunchorexia isn't an official diagnosis, the name comes from a cultural phenomenon where people restrict their food intake to make up for the calories they consume from their alcoholic drinks. This method is seen as a way to prevent weight gain and is mostly observed in young women with binge eating problems. The danger of this disorder is drinking alcohol in an empty stomach because it'll only increase the negative effects of alcohol, like passing out or getting into accidents. And what are your thoughts on this topic? Have you heard of these eating disorders before? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too.